if I zoom into the code, so you see I have uh, this age one here with the ID of my head and uh, it basically says subscribe to my channel and I hope that you do so. So below it, we are going to use the script tab because we are going to be using JavaScript here. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to uh, create a variable and then we are going to get this element. So we are going to store this age one element into that variable. So to do that, inside of the script, we are going to say let, and I'm gonna say uh, head, all right, equals to, then document dot get element by ID, and two parentheses and two quotations. And right here, we are going to copy this ID and we are going to paste it between these two codes. Okay, cool. So now we have that one. And now we will have to basically, uh, you know, create an array. So we are going to uh, add an array of, you know, fonts, different font sizes. So I'm going to say, uh, let array, or I'm going to say uh, my array, all right, equals to, and we are going to open square brackets. So, so let me zoom in. So you see the square brackets. And then we are going to say, for example, uh, so the default size or the default font size is 36 pixels for the age one. So I'm going to add something bigger. So maybe I'm going to say 40 and then comma. Then I'm going to say, um, let's see, let's go with 43 and then 45. So 45. So these are, this will be, um, you know, our fonts, but because you know when you change the style you have to give it like 40 pixels so we'll add the px here basically to the end of each of them so you see 45 pix 43 pixels and 45 pixels we have pixels for all of them okay so now we have that ready and now let's move to the next step so now we will uh create you know a counter element so we are going to say uh, uh, let increment, you can call it increment, but I'm going to keep it I and then let I equals to zero. So it's going to start from zero. All right. So you see we have let I equals to zero ready. And now we will move to the next objective, which is the function. So now we will create a function. So we are going to type in function basically and we can name it anything. So I'm going to say increase font size. All right. Because it's basically going to increase the font size. And then we are going to add a parentheses. We are going and then two curly braces. So now that's ready. We are going to say head. All right. So we are selecting that uh, variable which stores the element. So you see right here it says. Uh, ID equals my head for this age one and I have named it head so that's why I'm saying head then you add dot style and then dot you can see you can change font family or anything like that you can you can do anything you want but I'm gonna go with the font size so font size equals to and now let, let me change it to a specific font size so let's say 40 pixels, so 40 px, all right, just to test it. I just want to see if, if it's going to work and I'm going to say increase font size and I'm going to add two parentheses here. So you see, as I do that, you know, it already calls the function and it changed it. So this works. Now all we have to do right here, you know, instead of adding 40 pixels, we are going to add the values of our array. And to do that, we are going to say, for example, uh, so we are going to say equals to, and then we are going to say, we are going to add the variable name for the array, which is my array. And then you are going to add, uh, you know, square brackets. And right here, you know, if you add zero, it will change it to 40. If you change it to, one, it will change it to the next one, which is 43 and so on. So we are going to add I plus plus basically. 
and now you see it changed it to the next one so now we are going to remove this uh, auto call you know we are not going to call the function and instead we are going to add a button here and whenever we click on the button i want this to i want this function to run so which is this little function and let me move it down so you can see it better okay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select uh you know i'm gonna create a button so let me add a button here let me add two buttons actually so button id increase all right so this will increase increase the font so you can you know you can add this function to any element but i'm just going to add add it to this button so we are going to say for example uh let and then we are going to say uh the we are going to add a name here so i'm going to say my btn equals to document dot get element by id then we are going to add the id of the button which is increase okay so i have that there now we are going to go to the next line i mean i can add the dot add event listener but i don't want to do it because i have no more space and it will make more sense if i just add the add event listener this way we are going to say my btn so my btn all right dot we are going to attach the event so I add event listener then you open two parentheses so now we are going to add quotations and you can you know these are all of the events so i'm gonna click on click all right so click comma and we are going to add the name of our our function which is increase font size okay so now the let's test this so if our code is clean when i click on increase the font it should increase the font so let's try it so if i want to click on it it will increase it and it will go to the next one which is 40 pixels and if i click it one more time it will go to the 43 pixels and i think uh, this is the last one 45 pixels so if i just one click on it, it should make it 45 pixels all right so i hope this video was a little bit helpful don't forget to like and subscribe see you all in the next videos and in, you know send me suggestions i'm really here and i really want to uh, help you all with your questions and uh i'll see you all later thanks for watching everyone